<laughs> Hi, everybody. Usually, Teresa is the first one in there. Let me. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to start picking up your accent, Teresa, and it's not on purpose. I can't help sorry. it. Sorry. Um, it's okay. I'm sorry. I don't want you to think I'm mocking you because it's just, it's going to happen. Okay. We're from the South. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How about chat? So usually what I do is I have another window open with YouTube that I have muted. And then I pop out the chat. And so I'll have StreamYard in one window, like halfway open, and then I'll have YouTube in the other, the chat on the other side of the screen. So I can kind of see the chat live and see myself as I'm talking. Because if I'm watching myself on YouTube, then it's like weird. Hey, Susan. Did you call it? And I didn't, why did you tell me Teresa was going to be here tonight? Surprise. No, surprise, surprise. Whoa. Okay. Look, Elizabeth's here and Susan and Barry. Hi, ladies. Oh, Carol. Sorry, it hid your comment because you said the B word. So <laughs> um. Google is like automatically doing it for us now because yeah they like they, they hold it or whatever <laughs> I unheld it I didn't offend it. anybody in the in the decade of whatever not the decade millennium hi everyone hi everybody what is here Yes, look, it goes. <laughs> Carol, I'm always happy to see you. It's it's good to hear, oh, Carol. Carol! Carol, your daughter reminds me of Andy's, um, of our, of our best friend's, uh, girlfriend. My best friend's girlfriend. Her hair, her hair looks really good, by the way. Did you guys see the video of it? Ooh. Carol dyed her daughter's hair. <laughs> the video of her showing off the hair is just so cute. I don't know if I'm even connected to Carol's channel. Carol has a channel. <laughs> a little special. <laughs> That's not what I mean. No, she's um. Hey, Michelle P. It's. I'm gonna like put my foot in my mouth and sound like an idiot, so I'm not gonna say anything. Love your daughter. She seems like a very awesome person. She seems like somebody that I would be friends with in real life. Oh. All I was saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll check. I'll check for that. Facebook request. Ha ha. Hey Michelle. Hey. Happy Monday. Monday. How's Gina? Is she any better? Have any, has anyone talked to her today? Gina's sick. Yeah, what's wrong? With Gina? She was. She was sick a couple days ago. Just like stomach issues and stuff. I didn't know. I just love the mom and daughter interaction, Carol. <laughs> That's how I am with my mom sometimes. <laughs> it was just cute. No, she was telling you hi, probably, because she's in here with me, Elizabeth, so she's out there with you, Elizabeth. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Quintina. Dog, why are you doing that? Dog. Come. Oh, let me put Quintia up. 
doing? Why did my chat just freeze on screen? Hi, sweetie. You okay? What are you crying? Go lay down, you psycho. Cha Cha is here. Hi. Hi. She is not in my um in my stream yard chat. Oh yes, she is. There she is. Now it's twenty twenty a big. Hey Denise. Denise, check this out, girl. So I found this today too. And it's you like you hang your jewelry on it. It's just like a little metal one. Oh, I love this one too. I can't help it. The jewelry things, they call me in. Oh, Carol, they don't like you tonight. Let me show you that real quick. Oh, just kidding. Another moderator handled it. I'll just sit here. <laughs> I took care of it. it I guess you would like a cupcake emoji. Hi, Let me just lean back. It was Take like, oh, don't call women cupcakes. It's oppressive. <laughs> How dare you call her sweetest cupcake? <laughs> yes. I forgot to share it out because I'm a bad friend. Cha Cha, share it out twice. You know, once for you, once for me. <laughs> what? I should do that. Yeah. I forgot to share out the video, so I said share it out twice, once for you and once for me. <laughs> I've been really bad with sharing ever since I got back from your house. I've been behind on my entire life, and I just, like, don't, I don't share very often anymore. I need to get back into it. Sharing. You talk I keep on the my accounts, but nobody goes in there. Nobody sees it. Okay, we see curious. Yes, that is Chacha true. says that it helps a lot. That you should you should share everywhere you possibly can for exposure. Personally, mm -hmm. I don't think it like does very much because like maybe four people see the post, and it's people who were always here. So it's like I don't like you know. I have, a, I have a Twitter. Oh, it logged me out. I'll never get back in. I don't have a Twitter. I do, <laughs> and I share it on there, but nobody follows me on Twitter. I'm trying to price my stuff, man. You got me distracted with your cuteness. And then on Facebook, I'll share it to my Facebook group, but then nobody's in my Facebook group, so share in a group. Yeah, I keep forgetting to, to talk about the fact that I have a Facebook group. But it's a private group, and I don't know if that, <laughs> it should be said that way. Um, even if it's a private group, people can still find it, I'm pretty sure. They just use have right? You just, you, you just have to share, like, the link for it, and then they can still be, like, added and stuff. Okay. Cha-Cha made me, mine, mine's a private group now. She's like, that should be a private group. And I listen to Cha-Cha, because she is the mom. <laughs> well, Cha-Cha knows, because she's been through it all. Yes. Cha-Cha, I need the phone number for YouTube customer service. Okay. Please and thank you. I don't have one, especially if you don't have 10,000 subscribers. Oh, good lord. Well, how are you supposed to contact anybody? Um, so what are you contacting me for? Like, what if you can't remember, like, your login information? Hi, Gina! Uh, you say forgot login, and it should set you up. Oh, shit. What? Okay. Alright. Come on first. We'll, I'll, we'll figure it out. Yes, Gina! Yay! She is feeling better! Oh, I asked that a long time ago, though. But I'm glad you're here and that you're feeling better. Oh, Teresa asked. That's why she said something. Good Lord, ignore me. It hid Carol's phone number. Carol, why are you putting a phone number in the chat? What is that for? <laughs> Wait. You put a phone Carol, number. Hey, Carolyn. Is that YouTube's customer service number? Chacha said that they don't have one. <laughs> I was like, don't put your phone number in. And then it was an 888. Hey, Caroline. Is that a fake number? Are you with me? Truthfully, there isn't one. Unless you have 10,000 subscribers or more. Mm -hmm. The numbers you're going to get are probably going to tell you how to go ahead and submit it online. Hi, Rise Up. Okay. Are you really trying to get in touch with me right now? And the other way to do it is by doing feedback on the forum. 
Well, if you if it's a lost password, all you need to do is say you forgot your password. And it what if you be... can't remember like what email you use? Um, you can I'm put in your honest. phone number, and for... it does give you a list. It does give you a list of um, possible accounts that are under your name. Okay. There's all you can see where it says. Um, it'll say, "I can't remember what email. I can't remember my login," and it'll give you options. Hey, John. All right. I'm trying to absorb all the information you just gave me. It's somewhere. <laughs> I'm asking for a friend, and I don't remember what her like specific situation or her question was. But I think I got around there somewhere. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Miranda, you're up first. Yeah, yeah. I sure am. So I have a fairy lamp. Do you want to see it now or later? And it's like a kind of fairy lamp. It's not like. Super fairy esque. Yeah, let's just show why am I so not where I need to be? Okay, here we go. I Googled and that's what it gave me. Oh, don't Google numbers. That's never good. I did that with PayPal and it was not PayPal. Right. They the phone saying they were Amazon. So at least I got, you know, a, a clue before the conversation began. Lana Banana. Lana Banana, be Baba Banana Lana. That's a fairy lamp if I've ever seen one. So I got this guy. And we'll just do a $20 start. It's like a green metal with butterflies. And then this lampshade goes on top. And from my wrist to my elbow, roughly. In size, I'm doing such a great job. It's a nice size. So I did Miranda put a ring on it? Is it a single lady? Oh, yay, Jen! Got Lana in at twenty. Anybody else? And then the other, the other like fairy lamp thing I have is this. It's black on the top and clear on the. Or it's black on the bottom and clear on the top. And it comes apart. So I think it's technically a fairy lamp. It's just weird. I don't like that one. Me. Okay. And, then I 20, and she says 20 again. And it's green. Sure, Teresa. That would be great. And you can jump too. You're not, we're not silencing me. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. <laughs> I love we we talk a lot, which you definitely know, so don't feel like bad if you interrupt us right now. Or if you feel like you have to interrupt us, that's like not not an issue. Alright. Well, Lana's in a 20. I don't see anybody else wanting to come in for this cute lamp. It is in fact green. So we'll start calling it to Lana. Lana Banna be Babo Banna. Hey Michelle. Michelle L. Hey Michelle. Hey Michelle. <laughs> it does cute butterflies. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. I don't know why I'm sing songy today. <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain has That is not how it goes. <laughs> All other obstacles in my way. <laughs> That's what came to my head. Butterfly lamp is what I'm going to call it because it's totally big. Thank you, Lana Banna. All right. Are we doing two or three tonight? Oh, I didn't mind. Freaking crazy yet. Hold up, pull up. Hold up. Uh, this is made in Mexico. It is a hand painted like sun. It's got a little hole here so you can turn it into an ornament or hang it on the wall. This guy is a three dollar start. This is a little tag thing. Oh my god. Who let the dogs out? That's Calvera. 
Calvera. Yeah, not Tanala, but Calvera. Me and Carol are too eager to um, understand. <laughs> wait for Teresa. <clears throat> Hi, Moon Goddess Treasures. Hey, Crystal. Am I Mariana today? Well, okay. <laughs> oh, and it's a nice size as well. Calavera, thank you. I said Calavera. Calavera. <laughs> You can say whatever you like. <laughs> Dude, okay, listen. Genius idea popped in my brain. Lucid, me and you should have a sale, but we can only like talk in song and it has to be like lyrics. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't like that because the lyrics I know, I don't know. It's not I love it. Are you kidding me? It's not my demographic. We wouldn't, we wouldn't get very far or probably yes. sell anything. Sorry, Carol. I really wanted that. I'm sorry. Oh, Terry's in. Hey, Terry. Wake up to happiness, everybody. Wake up. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now I can't stop thinking about it, and I think it would be so fun. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. All right. Don't write on my thing. No, I'm kidding. I know you have a sticker. I'll write on whatever I want. Um, well, I just shipped you your box. So you have those <laughs> moons I forgot and your sticker I forgot. And then you got that horse pendant. And then you have this now. So just a little pile. Cha -cha. Looking like a whole snack. <laughs> So I have up first this um grass towel. And it's four and a half inches. This is the bottom for it. And it, it's missing the screw, which looks like it might be a little broken, but I think it would still hold it if you put the screw in there. So it's starting at 12. Grass has really gotten popular. Yeah, and there is some patina on it. <laughs> and it's got the bottom. Oops. You can also put probably a cork or something in there. Tape it up if you want to. I don't know There's who it's house. by. The sticker was rubbed off. Maury, look what she's got. That owl looks very Indian and Moroccan. And good evening to you, lady. That's who I was this whole time. Hey, Maury. Maury gets extra kisses. <laughs> Let's see. It's $12 start, Maury. Teresa's not selling tonight? Mm. She's just hanging out. She's yeah. got a new channel. If she gets on oh. shop. And so she's supposed to be dropping her link in the chat. And I guess I need to go look for it. I guess she would feel like 
I don't know. Anything. I have her in my mile long sub list. Okay, we'll put that aside for now. Yes, Lana, you may have a hug. Here it comes. <sighs> oh, Maury's in for 12. <sighs> oh, I hope you feel it. Hi, Maury. And do we have anyone for 14? Hi, Michelle. Oh, today's the 26. Puppy, why do you keep crying? Because I know you're busy doing something. It's just like my dog. My dad tried to call me again. Was I supposed to call him today? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. 26. Hang on, puppy. Let's go find dad and have him let you out. Come on, let's go. Go on twice. Go on three times. Sold two. Three. Now, everybody, go sub. Well, yeah, go sub to Teresa. And try to tell you take a deep breath and you take your time and you go low and really slow and grab your next item. Teresa. Teresa will be selling you guys. Thank you. Michelle says she wants to hear your voice and to say hi. I said, hi, Michelle. Did you hear me? Oh, she probably did. He's got that southern accent, Michelle. Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, in case. Uh, and next, next up, I have this King Raggedy Ann. Two parts. And the starting bit is $8. It's 12 inches. And I guess you hang it this way. Or you could sit it this way. Looks like it was hand done. Some kind of thing here. I don't know if that just could be touched up or it's a scrape. It's a weird mark. Probably just touch it up. That's adorable. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I would attach some fake balloons to her hand. There you go. <laughs> and it, I can tell it's like hand done. I, it looks like it, the painting and stuff on it. I uh, know, Rise Up. I just love that kind of accent. To me, it makes me feel all like Southern and it makes me feel like etiquette class, like proper, even though. Um, <laughs> oh, Rise Up, my clowns. Um, well, you saw which ones. Do you want, maybe you can um, let me know which ones you want from the video or I could show them again. I just subbed Teresa. Thank you. You're welcome. See, now I'm going to do it there. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, and if there's no one interested in Raggedy. <laughs> voice is so cute. I'll go right, ahead Michelle. Pull her out. Yeah, Raggedy. Where's Joanne? Joanne loves Raggedy and stuff. <laughs> I love when the emoji doesn't come up and it's just the words. <laughs> so I'd like to want to. You know, I'd like to know how you're feeling. I'm feeling better today so far. <laughs> Good. Okay. And For all the clowns, let me, I'll take a look. Oh, 
I don't even know how many I have. <laughs> how much for all clowns? It sounds like me with oh. the pie. Okay. If it's not made with a popsicle? She said it's like me with a pie, right? Um, I'll take a look while we're while I'm on hold. <laughs> bro. Okay, first up, I don't like bells and I mean I like bells, but not for Riso. But this bell is cool because it glows, mofos. It's a Fenton um mustard glass bell and it's got daisies and buttons all over it. And like you can turn off the lights and this pretty much glows. It glows a lot. Um, as you can see the, well, I was going to say, as you can see the green light, but it does not really reflect green in the computer. Anyway, this bad boy is labeled Fenton on the inside with words, but is that right? I don't know if this is a handcrafted dingling on the inside or if that's the original dingling. Um, <laughs> bro, that's what they're called. Yeah. And I think I don't know. So I can't tell you the truth. I don't know how they normally come because I never bought a Fenton Bell. But this is going to be a $15 start and it's glowy, glowy custard glass. Hey, Christy. Christy, what's your, what's your start on this? Um, glowy. Bell? And it's a big bell. It's not like a little um, tiny one. Why every time do I forget to grab my ruler? And it's the Girl, if you don't give me a price. I said fifteen dollars. Okay, thank you. I think maybe my phone's just really quiet because you guys all sound really quiet. It might just be me though. Can you guys okay, so you guys in the chat, can you hear everybody just fine? Or am I dumb? You're all right, Teresa. <laughs> Nobody likes the green glowy glass. Green glowy. Well, it's not green. It's custard glass, but it glows green. Nobody in. No interest. Start. You can hear everybody just fine. Okay. I, I all right, I'm gonna pop out really fast when we start my phone. Making me wonder if it glows. The one I got. If it's custard glass, yes, it will. I'm gonna turn off the lights. Maybe it'll show up green if the lights are off. Oh. Ooh, everybody's scared of the dark. Mm. Mm. It glows so bright, it's hard to show it. But as you can see. I can see it. Yeah. And then so, like, let me, this would be, I don't know. How that's gonna show up. It's gonna show up orange and yellow. But anyway, any interest in the Fenton Cutting Custard Glass Bell? No, that's okay. It'll be glowy in my room. Okay, let me turn on the lights. Planet, don't talk about my speech. I must have a speech impediment. Okay, next up. <laughs> what was this? Guy? I'm going to start this guy at $8. He is a Mr. Peanuts vintage from 1991. Because that's vintage. It jar. And it's his anniversary. It's his 70th, 75th birthday. $8 starting bid. Oh, and nobody can see Mr. Peanut. Let's do this. Mr. Peanut. Oh, that's a very reflective surface. So there's his face. He's winking. He's got his monocle in. He's got a um, witch my doodle airtight seal, and it's all intact. It says Mr. Peanut, 75th birthday. And it's on the bottom, it says 1991, and there he is with his little cane. Oh, I'm cutting. 
covering his beautiful face. All right, and if there are no interests, I'm going to pass it back on to Miranda. Hi. Bye, Christy. Love you. You have a Mr. Peanut? I thought it was a good deal. Like, yeah. it, oh, is it like the glass Mr. P? I had a glass Mr. P, and I think um, it was from Cha Cha's house, mm -hmm. and Skywatcher Sandra got it. Oh, I'm definitely trying to peel this sticker off. All right, this is a fan, uh, it's, a, it's a hand painted umbrella, um, it's oriental style, and it's a $15 start. And Jen K wants your bell. Thank you, Jen K. Here it is. Laura, I was just thinking about you. You want me to show you that that uh, that the oh butter butter dish? Okay, right, gotta be gentle with it. <clears throat> it's got nice hand painted flowers and the butterflies on it. It is pink. Yes, Michelle. Michelle P is from Australia. Look, look, Laura coming in and demanding what items you show. Butter dash. And it is wood. I'm being an absolutely as careful as possible with this guy. No, thank you, JK. I don't know if you can see the bottom of this thing. So this is a $15 start if anyone's interested. Close it up here. It is pretty. It's like a little Asian. You, you, you learn, Maricho, what a real butter dish is. <laughs> <laughs> you little brat. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. So there's that guy. It is a Pyrex butter dish, and it is literally the exact one that Teresa got from me, except for this isn't Teresa's. I just happened to find another one. And um, the uh, print, the pattern is a little bit worn off on the top, but it's not that bad. Um, just like on the center flower part and a little bit of like part of the butterflies. Here's the butter dish. The golden something is what it's called, I think. This is a butter dish. <laughs> the real butter dishes. <laughs> and I'll do twelve dollars on this guy. A twelve dollar start on the butter dish. Lana, you're in for my umbrella. You got it. Okay, cha cha. Rise up once you're clowns. I found a really cool big clown. He was like, like his arms and his face were like porcelain, and then his body was like kind of flesh. It was really cool. Well, I got him. I'm glad y'all made the deal, so now I can sell my clown. Lucid just posted it just above. Laura! Oh, I'll post it again. You have first dip on the butter dish. Do you want it or not? And Lana, I have you for I'm not making All right, Laura doesn't want my butter dish. 
not that bad. She's a little one right there. All right. If nobody wants it, it's 12 bucks. You let me know. And that was my. I'll show the big um, spinning jewelry thing that after on oh, my next turn. Yeah, that guy has that trump card. No, Annie's being too loud. Yeah. Ian? <laughs> All right, hold on he's one a, second. He sounds like he's watching a football game with like 10 of his buddies. <laughs> Me. Okay, let me go. Let me go close this door. <laughs> it was just, it was just really funny. Okay. So this is. This one? Ooh. And it's pretty big. What are those are the fancy grapes that everybody freaks out over? Why are those special? Well, that brings me right back to 1970. That's why. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they have so many different ones. They have ones that are lighted. You can light them up. It's really pretty. Let's see. And this is a pretty big one. Maybe where's my tape measure? That's about 10 inches long. And about 7 inches high. Yeah, it looks like some driftwood. Yeah. And it's, um, there's where you can tell the grapes were tied in. And these are solid lucite or I can never tell the difference lucite or what's the other one uh, the other glass <laughs> oh I don't know resin yeah they look I don't know they look like the ones everybody freaks out over they do I always pick them up when I see them I had a big grape um uh, red ones too. Wow. I always pick them up. I'm waiting for the day I find the lighted one. <laughs> Let me put this one here. And this one. Um, I just popped my ankle and almost broke it. It did not feel great. Mm -hmm. That ever happened to you when you like you like sit on your foot and you sit on your leg and then you go to like stretch your foot and your foot goes <laughs> and you're like, oh, that was that's probably gonna that's probably fine. <laughs> yeah, and then after about five or ten minutes, you can walk again. Oh. Well, I mean, I can walk. It just doesn't feel great. <laughs> And this one is, what do I have? So next up is this vintage um, Mount Clemens apple pie dish. It's uh, Mount Clemens pottery. Um, it says made in Japan. <laughs> apple pie, and here's the back. Oh no. How much did I pay for this? The sticker's gone. 
Shit. This makes me think of the movie Michael with John Travolta where he plays the angel and he loves pie. <laughs> and that's mine too. Okay. Let us know if y'all are interested in either of those. Hi, it's me. Um, so I'm going to start these bad boys out at $12, I think, because they're so stinking cute. Oh, my God. What is it? Hi. <laughs> and it's oh a birthday sticker from La Fonda's on there, which is a local Mexican restaurant, and I know... That's not what's supposed to be there because I can see it's a Maker's Mark sticker underneath. But um, it's by that UOGC company in Taiwan that I always see their tags. Um, so this little dude, he sits and he's like got his legs out like he's waiting for somebody to roll a ball to him. And he's got yarn, little, actually little thread hair little threads that make his hair and he's got frilly lace around his neck oh cute and then his buddy is got blue pants and he's holding a soccer ball and he's got a red nose that has a little like he's got a soft red nose like a little pom-pom on it and so does the other one and this one he doesn't have soft pom-pom on his nose but i thought he looked like his friends because he had this spaghetti but this isn't spaghetti. This is yarn, not yarn. Thread, and he's got his little witchy doodle, lacy, lacy doodle madu around his neck. So it's a set of three for a twelve dollars start. These are the things that pleasant dreams are made out of. Don't make me break things. The longer I own things, the more likely I am to break them. I feel that wholeheartedly. <laughs> oh, wait. I still got the pie plate up there. It's dangerous. All right. That's the little tag of its maker's mark. Oh my God. Oh, it? We were kids, we had a little clown in the mall and he would lift himself up on the pool bar and cut flips. And then, um, I would just like everything that they would get in the mall. I don't even know what his deal is. I think he was outside the door. Okay. So, my next item is this adorable little cherub. It's made by Toma, T O M A. It says quality imports, and then it's some country that I don't recognize. I can't even really read the name. It's Korea. Maybe that's a messed up case. I think it's food and food. They had a bunch of little carrots, and I thought this one looked like the best quality. But she's playing a little heart. She's got luxurious lashes or he. I think that might be a little boy. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, you? Yes, Ian. And it's going to be a $5 start for this guy. Is this really loud? I don't 
Oh. I'm lit rolling this jewelry thing that I'm going to show because it, it was like covered in hair. Don't really know why it was covered in hair. But... I figured the least I could do is clean it up a little bit, you know? Yeah. Those clowns are cute. I'm, I'm trying to make the swinging one. I know. I want to hang them in the window. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> dude, if I could just have a million china cabinets and not have to sleep in my house, that'd be great. <laughs> well, you got one of those um scarf holders, darn it. Well, it's for sale. I'm auctioning it tonight. It's oh, from, yeah, I got it today. I've been okay. looking for it and I cannot find one. Oh really? Yeah, I know. I have I have one here that I was supposed to bring with me when I went down to see her and I forgot it. Oh hi. Bro, oh. just just because I talked you. What? You, you were the worst. You used to put me up there, you put people up there all the time, especially when they weren't looking. And you used to close it out on Freaking, who was it? That sweet girl that sold with us that one time from Montana or somewhere around there. What? <laughs> no, you know who I'm talking about? She had all the Avon battles. Her name's escaping me right now. Oh, Amber? Yeah, Amber. I love Amber. I forgot. Oh. oh, yeah. You would have to exit the tunnel and she would be sitting there on her stool like knitting or something or like digging for puzzles. And you would just put her up on the screen and you wouldn't give her any room. <laughs> I always felt bad for her. So like when I started selling, I was always like making sure everybody's ready. But now it's fun to just put Marina out there. Um, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even realize. Yeah, I just like left. Hi, Hi Charlotte. Hi. All right. All right. So what are you doing? I'm lit rolling. So this is a $25 start. It is a big, beautiful jewelry thing. And now it's been lit rolled. So you're welcome. Mine's going to be bigger and beautiful. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> big glad and beautiful there. <laughs> Thank you, honey. So here it is. It's quite large, as you can see. It does spin. It's like a lazy Susan. Ooh, that'd be good for a shot. Even. That rings. We have three little shelves. And then this is good for hanging bracelets over or putting um your earrings over and then there's little pouches here and then this is where you hang your necklaces and the part that has rings also has the mirror and it's quite large and now it's clean it's not super heavy and this this top part right here is just screwed in so if it gets loose just twist it to screw it back in Yep, the start price is 25 so it looks like we've Denise it at 25 Any other interest? Say, honey, you want to put this over there? I'm not staying for me, please. What are you doing? What are you trying to put on here? Yes, it's starting at 25 so if no one wants it for 27 Bless you. Carolyn, did you see my crystal ice bucket with lid? Did you check that out? It's beautiful, it's heavy, it's immaculate. I thought it was a trash bin. It's fine. And it's her turn. We can show it to you now. If you can fit it up above that shelf without knocking anything down or messing stuff up, you can put it up there. Just be careful. What? I said, and it's your turn, so you can show it to her now. Well, yeah, but I don't, it's all the way over there. So I'd like have to like get up and like go around. My cat's in this pot and it's really cute. You see my cat? What? Kitty, what are you doing? 
<laughs> he just had his front little paws in there like this. <laughs> he was just like, just like smelling away. <laughs> okay. So, thank you, Denise. It is yours. I hope you love it. Next, I do have another owl thing. You can me to get it, but it's not over here. This is a pair of owl cups. It's a $15 start. Thank you, honey. And these are measuring cups. And they do yeah. nest inside of each other. This one is a one cup, and this is a half cup. And they do sit inside of each other, and they're just cute little owls. So adorable. Honey, aren't they cute? Why are you putting me off? That's so rude. Thank you for the ramen, though. You're very sweet. A little nesting. Oh, is it a cup and a half cup? or? Yep, I only have two of them. I've got the cup and the half cup, and it is a $15 start. She's a go-getter. That's cute. I like that girl. She's a go-getter. Somebody better go get her. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm a lazy person. Thanks, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> that Miranda's a go-getter, but all of her other friends. <laughs> you don't know I'm my friends. I'm sure that's not what she meant. No, I know. All right. If there's no interest on those, we can pass them. And then, um, Carolyn, I'll grab that. Uh, I'll grab the crystal ice bucket with the lid. I'll grab it on my next turn. Oh, I'm making a lot of noise. I'm sorry. I'm like, yeah. I feel like I'm hanging out tonight. Just hanging out downtown street. The same old thing. Wow. <laughs> hey, Jules. Lucid didn't say hi. I don't know what didn't is without a uppercase apostrophe. That's what they used to say. They said, no, no. What would they call it in school? They'd say comma to the top S. They would say stuff like that. So if I'm real special, it's where I went to school. No, I'm kidding. You can take me on the screen at any time, by the way. I do love being the center of attention, but my turn is over. Tachi! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I have this Bigfoot desk calendar. No. With a box, but the box is not, um, doesn't have the lid. And it was made in Hong Kong. And so here it is. And you can flip the dates on the top and then the bottom you can switch the months and that's going to be a ten dollar start i really can't buy stuff and i really i thought about keeping it to sit with my stuff when i can say it's item number two <laughs> i once had a bigfoot mug in the shape of like bigfoot but and I missed that. I sold it on eBay. It went for quite a bit, though. It's JSMY. Any interest in this? <laughs> that lucid over there making all that racket. <laughs> Like Cha Cha the other day. <laughs> she was so loud. She's like, she was like moving shelves around loud. <laughs> because I seem to remember her telling me to pull long strips of tape and cut them so I wouldn't be. <laughs> it's making tape noise while we were talking one night. <laughs> 
We have a pace pace on the disc calendar. Really good. Meat and ramen noodles. Charlotte Donnell, were you from Fadbird Pines? Like, did you get to go meet up with them one night in real life? They invited you over in their live stream and you showed up. Is that who you are? Because I feel like I know you from Fatbird Pines. Is Chacha frozen or is she just incredibly still? No, she's quiet. Oh, okay, good. She's she's here. I thought you fell asleep while you were standing up. I was like, girl, what happened? Are you okay? Speak to me. They passed on the world's greatest calendar. And once everybody invoices me, I would might buy that for me. And then I have this. I want to glow, I'm telling you. <coughs> we'll see if um I don't see any signatures, but it's an art class. It's folded. <gasps> it is. About four and a half inches tall. No chips or cracks. Your signature. It's got the ram. It's got um some. I could take this off. It's um from the tags, but. And it's folded with the white inside. Oh, that's so cute. And they're cute. I was looking for my. Um, let me see. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. I'm seeing if it glows. Well, I don't think it does. No. Yep. If we, this was, was this the first thing I showed? No, second thing. Okay. Um, so that's like my channel link. If you want to subscribe, you totally don't have to. And if you want to, that's cool. And if not also cool, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is cool. How much were you asking for that? Um, I think I said twelve. No, I don't remember. Yeah, it's neat. I love stuff like that. I struggle with where I'm supposed to put it, but I definitely love it. Lana said, <laughs> "My yellow oh. kitchen." Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. Well, was the starting bit? <laughs> I couldn't remember. Oh, so those are my two. I burned my tongue on the ramen. Okay, hey. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I have this little occupied. Japan guy with his dog and he's just a little darling. He's a boy in a green hat and really his face is kind of not the cutest but I still think he's darling. And he's a little figure. Baby. And we're going to start him out at $5. And this is his Occupy Japan marking. <laughs> and if you're into Japanese um like pottery or ceramics and figurines. He's a cute one. He's cool. Just now, it's up to you. No, I think she's with me. Oh, I was like, you just got the notification. Oh my hey. god, you could make a hedgehog. I just made a hedgehog. Hey, Patty. 
Okay, so I've got everything, and I'm I'm trying to figure out what people want to see tonight. Oh, look at my cute little hedgehog that I made. Look at him. I can't see him. He's in the chat. Oh. Okay, so I think I saw <laughs> Michelle L here. I know she likes blue glass, so I figured I'd show some of the blue glass that I have. This is a blue glass vase. And I don't think it's like super like, oh my God, this is an art glass amazing piece, but it is like pretty decent glass. It's heavy on the bottom. You know, it's not that rinky dink glass that sometimes comes in the glass. Anyway, starting bid $8 for this blue um, face boss. But I almost said a word that did not go along with that. Oh, um, and I need I need my ruler, but it's yay high. So I would say about eight to ten inches, probably ten inches high. Michelle, thank you for your bid. I mean, your offer. <laughs> Is anyone else interested in this blue face? Boss face. I don't know the rules of YouTube. Okay. Lou said, Lana wants to buy your clear glass basket. It's the third time she asked you. You ignoring her? Yeah, I, I missed it. No, I'm not ignoring her. Yes, this is what's called cobalt blue. Is this my first time on my show? No, I showed a little man. I will sell you the baskets on my next turn if you're interested. Look, how much was what? This is an eight dollar start, so you're yeah. in a great break on the show. You confused her. <laughs> oh, because I put you up on screen. Because you were like. Thank you for your offer. <laughs> it's really dark. It's like a darker, um, <laughs> darker than it's coming up on camera. Like, let me see. I have a lighter blue thing. And so, like, that's regular blue. And then this would be the cobalt. All right, Michelle. I don't see any other interests. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have a special license to do things. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All righty. I'm going to go ahead and sell it to Michelle L. And I'm going to put up Miranda. What's up? So this is a big, thicker than a snicker, crystal waste basket. Ice bucket for champagne, whatever you want it to be. You can put giant bubble gums in there. You can put your cotton balls in there. You can put a shit ton of Q-tips in here. Whatever you want to do with it, that's up to you. This is how big it is. It is, in fact, crystal. It did once have a sticker here. It does not anymore. I don't know why. It is a $50 start. <laughs> That wasn't supposed to be as dramatic, but anyway, it's really it's quite thick. And then there's my like fist in it. Bless you. Bless you back. Love you more, Michelle. No, I love her more. Oh my god. I can't be serious. I very much try. Fine, but Teresa is mine. I love her the most. Why do you? You can do more than I will, please. <laughs> Did you take us here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I did something bad. I, um, I do tend to cuss. Sometimes I censor myself, and sometimes it just comes out, you know? So this I, is that guy. Oh, my channel is not approved for children. I mean, or whatever. I mean, Mine isn't either. <laughs> and then here's the lid. And there are no chips or cracks in here or anything. I haven't dropped it. Um, I was really careful when I brought it inside, and then it's just been sitting on my floor. Shut up. 
It has been very well taken care of since it came into my care. I love the way crystal sounds when it rings too. It's like, it's one of my favorite things. So when I found this, I found like a little mini crystal pedestal dish. I just didn't, I'm keeping it. I have to keep it because it's so cute. All right, call it to Kika Carolyn. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. <laughs> Never believe his eyes, though. It's magic. You know. Don't you know, this is going to really suck to wrap. I'm trying to be more conscious of that, like, when I, when I pick stuff up. Like, I really am. Because then I have to wrap this stuff. But this I couldn't leave there. This is so beautiful. Hey, what, is, what is the likelihood of coming across something like this? Bro. I will go, don't worry. Oh, <laughs> I think I'll stick it. No. Um, I don't honestly know. Usually I just pick up stuff that calls to me. I just happen to know that uh, Crystal is like that, you know? Uh, people in the chat have happy hours sometimes. I actually don't drink. I smoke cigarettes, but not around my stuff. I just drain. I drink a lot of coffee, but I don't drink. Um, uh, I don't drink the alcohol. I don't know why I said it like that. All right, we're gonna do. Uh, let's just do the other fairy lamp. Let's get that out of the way. This one is a twenty dollars start, just like the last one. This one's more of like a classic fairy lamp style, I guess. Let's say. And it's black on the bottom and clear on the top. And I honestly didn't know what it was when I first saw it. And then I was like, I think that's a fairy lamp. <laughs> this will be easier to do than those crystal pedestal dishes. By the way, I haven't found any more crystal pedestal dishes since those ones. But I've got one big one here and then I have um, that smaller one. But I think the smaller one has like a crack in it. <laughs> Here's the fairy lamp. And then I will take the tape off the side so you can see it open. It just has a weird texture, you know? I'm 25 as well. Like very, very awkwardly young. Um, and I just, I drank a lot for like... Not even a year, like a few months. I just I drank a lot, and I just got really bored of it. And I think it tastes like poo poo, anyway. So I just didn't do it. I obviously don't care if other people drink, and I don't care if anybody like smokes weed or anything like that. I just don't do it. <laughs> okay, I've got it taken apart. Well, that was almost piratey. Now I want to watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh God, it's fine. <laughs> to get that off the table. I elbowed her baby. All right, Denise is in at 20. I don't see anybody else for the fairy lamp. Maury, you're gonna miss it. The Maury, if you're listening but not watching, you're gonna miss this fairy lamp. I know you missed the, the two clear ones that I had. So, I just, you better come in, otherwise it's gonna go out the door. Oh, that noise hurt my I'm 29, and Miranda told everybody I was 38. You're 33. Shut up. <laughs> but you told everybody I was 38. I, I did. I did tell everyone she was. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how old you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Try to, to, to whatever. Look at my dog. You want him. I know you want him. He's a very good weapon for self-defense. His tail could definitely take an eyeball out. Okay, Cha-Cha. You're up. Thank you. Okay, so I have this um, sewing kit. Oh, shoot. Okay. This, uh, it's about 10 inches long sewing kit. It's, it's a nice basket. I almost thought it was a long one burger, but it, it's not signed or anything. But it feels good quality. And there's some little things in here. Nothing big, like some sequins. 
letter alphabet um, beads. Oops, everything just fell. Some ribbon. Um, some patches. More sequins. Uh, ribbon. And then there's one of these spool holders. There's the inside. It's pretty clean. It just has a little bit of use in it. And so that would be $12. And on here, the picture is carrots. It says pickled beets, kosher dill. It's like farm. On a light background. Isn't it Christy that loves the sewing stuff? I'm not sure. I don't know. I sent Christy um a giant box of yarn. <laughs> I had to like sit on it to close it. We got Lana at 12. It's a nice basket. <laughs> Anyone at um well, we have Lana at 12, so Terry, you would have to come in at 14. There you go. <laughs> and then Lana, do you want this for 16? It's about 10 inches long. And with the lid down, it's four and a half inches high. Without the lid down, four inches. So four inches high. You stick your pins on there. in good condition. It's between Lana and Terry at the moment. <laughs> and then I'll include the little stuff that's in there. And then because um, I think both of you bought from me for my pirate cell, I'll definitely combine the shipping. Okay, Miranda. All right. So we're going to go 15 to Lana. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lana. And I need to close Ian's door again. <laughs> Let me write that down. So I know who it is, Lana. Lana, sold to Lana for 15. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> and then we have this one. Okay, next up is, this is a five inch cobalt blue glass. Five inch. Blue glass. What do I have that down? And here this is. It's really pretty. So I guess like a goblet, maybe? Mm-hmm. It's pretty heavy. Oh, you could Press put a glass. Could be a candle thing, but yeah, it looks like a goblet. Yeah, it could be a candle. You could put a tea light candle in there. Or a vase. It's a dark blue. Of course, if you put a light up to it, it's going to be... Well, that's not going to work because it's my blue light. <laughs> Yeah. 
Let me go um, turn close Ian's door again. <laughs> Keep forgetting. <laughs> There we go. And that's five inches. It's really pretty. It's heavy and thick. And it has that, um, it's like a bubble texture on it. If we have no interest, we can pass on it. All right. Over there. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and let me see. Oh, that was your two? Yep. Okay. Okay, Lana, banana. You wanted this glass basket, the one that had the dam like pressure crack damage to it. Is that the one you're talking about? Cause I mean I got other glass baskets. Some you said clear though. So I'm thinking you wanted this one. This is eight dollars because of the damage. I also have a clear etched one, but it's it's more ex more expensive because it's um it's made by a special dude in the early 1900s. So I think that was the one you're talking about, but I don't know. <laughs> Last basket. Those are pretty. Okay. So it's going to be an $8 start. Is a little glass basket. I think Lan is the only one interested. So we don't have to let it linger too long. Oh, and okay. I'll show you the red one next. Okay. Okay, Lana, but you gotta put the put the number of the I the bid in the chat so I can know for sure for surely. Okay. <laughs> and we can start selling it to Lana if there's no other interest. <laughs> it is true, Charlotte. It's a special dude. It's like between 1905 and 1920, I think that one came out. They're like um, old wedding baskets. Okay, so this red one, I'm going to start out at 18. It's like a cranberry, cranberry glass basket. It's got an upside handle. And it does have an imperfection from when it was being manufactured. It has like a bubble in the glass. Oh my God, where'd you go? Oh my God. It's hard to find it on the outside. You can't feel it on the inside. On the outside. You can only feel it on the inside. But it's right there. And the bubble like protrudes out from the inside. I got you for the clear glass basket, Lana. It's sold to you. Red. Oh, this is cranberry glass, but I'm typing red, okay? I'm lazy. Starting to. Do it. <laughs> and it is hand blown. It does have the pontil mark on the bottom. You can see that, right? It's there. 
It's got an applied handled and ruffled edges, and it kind of is like a little basket. This one's sold. Okay. Got, Lana's in for 18. <laughs> Charlotte. Would anybody like to come in at 19 or is everybody else like, heck no. Hey, Angela, how are you? All right. Well, we can go ahead and sell it to Lana, the banana Mortsfield. And Yuri Homer is back. Hey, dude. Lana, banana, be bye, bye, Can I get the $8 basket? Uh, the $8, <laughs> Michelle, are you messing with me? Because the $8 one went to Lana. Hey, Angela. She might be lagging. They're the lag queens. Back over there in their, their lag quarters. I don't know how they lag so much. I know how Michelle does because she goes, like, she, like, hops around and then, like, leaves and then comes back, you know? All right, Carolyn, I don't know if you're still here, and I don't know if this is something really cool, but I have this. I love that. I don't know what it's for. It was expensive. It's for jelly beans. <laughs> Bitch, that ain't for jelly beans, huh? <laughs> uh, it's a $30 start. It is red glass, and it's like, you you'd put like maybe a bread in here. A huge holder. Jen said taco uh, holder. <laughs> some like newspapers, maybe. A bouquet of flowers sideways that you want to dye. Um cascading flowers. You could put some biscuits in there. I don't know what ruby glass means, but it's really red. It's like a dark, dark red. Ruby red, yes. Mine's more cranberry. That is nachos. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. You could put your stones in here. Two eggs. Did you just say two eggs? <laughs> I said eggs. Eggs. All I hear is eggs. Two eggs? Not like a two, chicken? I said eggs. Eggs. Fill it with eggs, even though they will roll off the side, probably. Well, it comes up, like, a little bit, but not really. It's quite interesting. My arm is pretty thick. That fits on there. Um, you could attempt to eat popcorn out of it. I'm pretty that's sure cool. I'm pretty sure that's a banana bowl. Banana! It's, a fruit. it's some kind of fruit bowl. Yeah. Put bananas in it. It's a majestic fruit bowl. Yeah, he said that all your neighbors with this fruit bowl. It is red like the blood of your enemies, and you need this fruit bowl. Now it's a fruit bowl? Who wants it? Let's go. Somebody wants this beautiful fruit bowl. <laughs> it's a fruit bowl. Ah, like I said, it's pretty it's pretty large. I just thought it was cool because I don't I don't personally find a lot of things that are like folded up like this. Yeah, I'd use it for a display fruit and put on my blue and white glass for Fourth of July. It's so cute. Oh, Carolyn, you're killing me. That thing was expensive. I'm trying to think if that's okay. Hey, Nancy. Long time no see. I wish it was blue. Hey, 
Hey, precious. Joey, and he's so precious. You see the banana bow. That's not all your stuff today, Joey. Even the stuff that, even the other stuff. Carolyn, <laughs> you buy the most annoying things to wrap. But you got it. <laughs> it's yours. I'll do it for 25. It's yours. You can't take it back now. Red glass banana boat. That makes no sense. All right. Thank you. Hey, Hello there, Nancy. Joanne, you missed something that I thought you would like, but I don't remember what it was now. So it's irrelevant. Next thing. I love you too. I just have to be careful sometimes. Um, like that's why I sit here for a minute because I have to like figure out like what I put into it and what I still have to put into it and make sure it's still okay. The stuff that you get is stuff that I pay. It's like I significantly pay more for that than like anything else on show. It's ridiculous. All right, this is a big heavy metal dog. I don't know what it's made of. It's a, whoops. It's a $12 start. It's fairly large and it's big. <laughs> I, know, I get it, I get it. And I can see it from both points, too. So I do my best to accommodate you. I think we should highlight this comment up on the screen now for <laughs> Miranda to freaking sit there and think about. I think you look 12. Well, not quite 12. I think you look really young. <laughs> hey, but that one photo, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ah, uh, I can't. I think it's a. It's supposed to be a male dog, but he does not have a penis. Hey, Alan. What was the start? It's being? really heavy. He's a twelve dollar starch. <laughs> I know, Jules. I can't believe I'm not twenty five either. <laughs> oh my god! And he's 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 hefty. Like. Throw in the trash, Mickey. Mickey! How are you? I feel like the whole family's coming tonight. I know. Look, it could be iron. It's like a brownie black. Maybe it was black and they put brown on it. Anyways, if anybody wants the, a giant heavy dog, it's like three or four pounds. <laughs> Let me know. He's 12 bucks. Mickey, how how are you, Ben? I've been so worried about you. I do sell the most annoying things to rap. That is true. That is a true statement. Yeah. So cool. Like, I don't want to not pick it up. Like, even though it's good, I know it's gonna be hard to wrap. It's something really cool that I can't. I just can't leave it behind. Yeah. Cause the thought of like the thought of no one else getting it and it getting thrown away like breaks my heart. So I have to get it. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, Mickey. Uh, let me put this in here. He does look like he got fixed. There's like a little flat part. What is this? Um, where's the clock? He would be. Lucid, what were you trying to say? I, def I definitely talked over you. I'm sorry. I was telling you to shut up. It's Cha Cha's turn. I was finishing my statement. God. Well, story. Okay, go ahead, Cha Cha. <laughs> okay, so this is a 1999 vintage clock, and it's a fisherman clock, and it's battery operated. It's called Sport Fishing Clock, the original from 19. It's copyright 1999 from Fundamentals. And it has um, three compartments. So I'm oh. thinking one battery is for the waves that are going, another is for the talking, and the other is for the clock. But I don't know, you press this. Stop, Miranda. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that girl in the background. Yeah. Why would you tell me to stop? What do I do? 
Oh, I accidentally clicked your comment when I was trying to click somebody else's. Oh, I was like legit thought you were mad at me and I was like, what did I do? I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. Is it a cuckoo clock? No, it's a regular clock. I saw this big cuckoo clock in the thrift store and they, no shit, wanted $50 for it. For this clock? No, it was like one of those old cuckoo clocks where it like sticks out and it goes, Oh, really? I would have grabbed. Oh, if they wanted $50. That one's really cool, though. A fisherman would love that. Holy mackerel, it's a big one, it says. <laughs> really, it in. Terry says, 15 o'clock. All right. Uh, who got this one? Awesome. Oh, Go ahead and put that down. <laughs> okay, next up is vintage Easter paper stuff. Okay, so it's 20 and you get um, Easter egg decorations. This is a uh, 12 inch and you get three. It's pink, yellow, and green. Um, the honeycomb uh, Easter eggs. It's taped up here on the top, but I'm, it doesn't look like they've been used. <laughs> and it's like beastly creations. So you get that. And then this little tiny pink plastic rabbit. We get that too. And then this is a 10 piece Easter decorama. It's 10 party decorations, one 12 inch bunny centerpiece, three art tissue eggs. Four 12 inch printed cutouts, one 14 by 20 green grass mat, and one 14 inch happy Easter sign. Aww. They're all sealed in there. That's adorable. So you get all three. Where'd my little rabbit go? Oh. You get all three. Um, and here's the you get the rabbit, little chick, lambs, so cute. So it's 1980s is when this one was. Yeah, 1980s. It is cute.
I guess we'll call it a pass. Um, that was your second yes okay. yep all right hey guys so my next one is fifty dollars fifty dollars start i think it's super fair because little tea tiny things sell in the stores for like that price from their custard glass this is a big old piece it is got um like cherries on it i think yeah i believe that's cherries and little leaves on the pattern on the outside and then on the inside it has like it almost looks like paisley or maybe cabbage leaves or something i don't know but it's a big old ruffled bowl it is custard glass and it is fenton so it glows like a mofo you can see it glowing with the lights on Oh, and it's custard glass. Custard glass, Fenton. It's the glowy glass. And I just thought I'd offer it before I put it up on eBay. Give you guys first dibs. And it is Mark Fenton on the bottom, if I didn't already say that. Rocky Jackie! Girl, I'm so glad you and Ron are on the mend. I was thinking of sending y'all some cashews up there today. It is so good to see you, girl. <laughs> I was worrying about you, and then Dee had told us you were ill, and I was like, oh, my God. I was just thinking of her today when she had told us that, so I'm so glad you're recovering. Show that glow. <laughs> Nobody like the custard satin glass bowl. That's okay. I won't show the other custard glass bowl because... Nobody's interested in a Casa Glass today. So my next item is going to be a very large and in charge jewelry case. And I'm starting this bad boy off. Ah. Okay, let me not break these clouds. Let me take my time. At $40. And... I hope it goes higher, but if not, that's okay, too. It is the stand-up jewelry box. Oh, my and gosh. I used to have that. They have really pretty flowers painted on them. The same exact one. That's so funny. And it's got the little spinnies at the top for the necklaces. And it has two keys in here. But it doesn't have a lock, so I'm not sure what the keys are for, like, but maybe their diary, or maybe they had, like, a watch box or something, and that's where they kept the keys. And then it has the drawers in the bottom, and it's lined with, like, blue, whatever that is, not velvet, and it's not, I don't even know, but the stuff they line jewelry boxes with. It is pretty. Nice. And it's got this mirror in the back. Felt. Yeah, it's not exactly felt though, and it's not exactly velvet. So I don't know. Maybe it is velvet. Maybe I'm just tripping. So you guys asked for it and I got it. Interest. I'm going to throw it on back to Miranda. Oh, no, we have a question about a price. So it's $40, right? $40 start, yes. And it's a, it's a big guy. So I would don't think it's going to fit in the box in the bag range, but if it does, it would just fit. Maybe it will. Take my 
Lana mm -hmm. wanted to know if you would take 35. No, I would just, no, sorry. <laughs> I cannot. That's like me cutting the price. Was that the 40? Hey, do we have any more chili? Chili? Yeah. That chili's been in there for a while. Oh, okay. Maybe if you want to. I don't think it's probably still good. No, that's right. Hey, Ian. Lucy said it. hello. It's probably still good. No, that's all right. I see Denise in at 40. Are y'all going to let her steal this really Hi, piece? Elizabeth. Hey, what, where am I from, Ian? Hey. What's she say? Where's she from, Ian? She's from Louisiana. About <laughs> <Real> time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. I had that same one growing up. Yeah, it's a big guy. <laughs> you sell it? She's selling it. Sell oh. it? Sell it. You sell it? I have my own big jewelry box and I thought about trading them out, but this one weighs lighter and I was boo. I was like, boo. This one's going to be easier to ship, maybe with the glass. All right. Thank you, Denise. Um, Denise, you have a box ready to be shipped out, I believe. So when I invoice the, you for this, I'm going to send you the shipping. All right. Well, Miranda's missing. Oh, Cha Cha's turn. <laughs> okay, so I have a nine inch pyrex high plate lime green and the start is 12. Thank you. this is a 909 uh nine inch pie plate it is a lime green color It's pretty clean. I don't feel any chips or cracks or anything. It's got um, just a few marks on the edges from sitting. Very springy, summery. It's like a lime color. Even though it looks yellow, it is lime. <laughs> There's a few scratches in, in the plate here, the middle, not that much. And this is a 909. Oh yeah, it's a popular color, Caroline. Like this, the ones that there's that go together are very pretty colors. Mm -hmm. Um, it came in this color and then it came out around, I think it was 1950s, with this, with the pink, which is the flamingo ink and the lime green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And no interest in that. Go ahead and grab this one. This is a white glass. I'm not sure. It's hand painted with flowers on it. Pink flowers. It's white milk glass. And I'll start this out at 12. It's folded on the edges. It's very pretty. And it's definitely hand painted on there. Maybe happened afterwards. It is pretty. It's 
drifted in the hollow. <laughs> nope, there's no marks on the bottom. Or on the sides or anything. It's pressed. And it is about... Where's my... It looks like um, Bentony or Westmorelandy. A lot of those get that hand painted stuff put on. Five and a half inches tall at the highest point. They call that a cornucopia or a jack in the pulpit vase, Hazel. About four and a quarter inches wide. Caroline's in for 12. Woohoo! It's very pretty. All right. We can go ahead and call it to Carolyn. My pirate table is like completely full. <laughs> That's how my glass is. I was I was working on it today, like all the sale, like the sales to get them all together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It is very pretty. Well, no glass. So we're, gonna, we're selling that to Caroline. I think my glass is coming back, honestly. Caroline for 12. Thank you. <laughs> All right. That was your two. Yep. Miranda. I don't know where she's at. Probably the bathroom? Maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have this um, scarf hanger. And it's really, really awesome. It's like it's... um. Well, the top of it is um, a coat hanger. Which I mean, I'm sure you guys are familiar with a coat hanger. Well, I'll get my big butt up and show you anyway. Okay. So here's a little hanger, and you put your little scarves through it. Sorry, I'm back. It's okay, and it's really handy. And I'm going to start this out at 10 bucks. It is made by Ikea, um, made in Vietnam. It's got that really cute bobo look. Um, Wait a minute, what are you selling? The scarf thing. Oh, okay. Oh, I see it. And it's really cool. You can tell like it was, it feels like it's hand done. Like you can move the macrame type knotting around it. And this was like one of my scores of the day today. Watch I was in for 10. Oh shit, look out. Teresa will be selling whenever she's ready. <laughs> you have some of these? <laughs> Hold on. This bad boy. Oh, I'm glad I didn't send out your other stuff yet, Chacha. Damn, okay, where did my hand go? And then, um, my next item is going to be this Tanala Pottery Bird. 
So I'm sorry. We can start selling it to um, Shot Shop. There's no other interest. And it's a big one. It's like a bigger sized one compared to the average sized ones. But it's not the large, large ones, if that makes any sense. And he's got a bird on him. So he's a bird with a bird on him. And he's an old style Tamula, if you can't tell. And there's his bottom. And we're going to start this guy out at 20. And he has a um, really pretty piece, I think. Look at his brush. This is the feathers and colors painted on him. Did you just say look at his breastuses? Yeah. Lana, Lana's got to refresh again. Oh. His chest sickles. <laughs> Is it funny, Ian? <laughs> oh, my God. He's driving me crazy. I'm sorry, guys. He's in there talking with everyone else. and He's so loud. We can, just, we can add him oh. to and it's like this because his base is flat to where he looks like he's pecking the ground. No, there's no signature on it. It used to have a um Pecco on Mexico sticker. I recognize the shape. Um oh did I win the, the, the scarf thing? Yes. Oh good. Um is is he on the phone with Leanne and, and yes. Dawson? Oh. Yes. I have a bird, Lana, and it's a Tanala bird, and it's old Tanala. And he's got a really pretty look, and he's got a bird on him. So there's a bird. He's a bird. He's a bird. And, a bird. and then up there is also a bird. I got that recently. I switched out my art. And this is what his face looks like when he's really close to you. Caca, caca. And this is what this bird's face looks like. Uh, really close. These are selling really well right now. Oh, I know for lots of money. So that's okay. I'm just going to put him up on. Um, hey, bye. I know I see him go for a bajillion dollars at other sales. Kind of hurts my feelings, but it's okay. Maury, where do you came from? Maury's in at 20? Lord, thank you, Maury. Thank you. And if there's no other interest, you can start selling it to Maury. I think, Maury, you're going to like it. And if you hang around here, Maury, I had some other things I picked up today that I thought you might like, but it's okay if you got things to do. I will hold off on those. Okay. I know nothing about Tanali. It's called Tanala. Yeah, it's old, like, Mexican folk art pottery. There is a place in Mexico called Tanala, Mexico. So, in my mind, I thought that Tanala pottery had to come from Tanala, Mexico, but people sell all that type of pottery from Mexico, no matter what place it's made, and they call it Tanala. So I guess it's named after the maybe the city it was originally made in. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to be. I was just waiting for it to be called sold. Okay, and there you go. <laughs> I like for you to look up and smile. This is an eighteen dollar start. It's a big half pot that you can hang on the wall. You're welcome, Caroline. And thank you so much, Maury. You could put stuff inside of it if you wanted to. And then I don't know why, but the other side, this this has got some shit on it, and I don't know why, so. Yeah. It's pretty big. God, I almost stabbed myself with him. 
Hey, Lucid, play us some sick beats on your drum. I don't even know where my drum's at. I think it's in the other house. I'll have to go get it. Yeah, I thought it was pretty nifty. Little neat guy here. I see it's inside. It's in my dad's house. I'm inside right now, guys. <laughs> Cha Cha! What? Is this kitschy? Yeah, it can be. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a cute little bed with shoes. <laughs> I would say I would say it's anthropomorphic before kitschy though. I don't know. That's just my <laughs> don't take it's, my word for it. It's a little bird with a top hat and shoes and he's looking at a flower. Maury's a protein. Oh Maury, that is a pretty piece. Wall pocket. Oh wow. I wasn't paying attention. No idea. I have no idea where it's from. Okay, well, let's guess. It does look kind of like Aztec, right? Mm -hmm. My kids are trying to knock shit down over there. So I would Rundocious. say South America somewhere. South America. It's a um, wall pocket, Michelle L. So you can put like um, plants or something up in there, like faux plants, and hang them on the wall. Or you could put, you know, whatever you like in here. Yeah. Just remember, there's something covering this side, and I don't know why. Beware of that. All right, if nobody else wants it, it's not a lamp. That is interesting. This would be a cool lamp, though, right? Maybe. What's that? Oh, Maybe. yeah. You can cool. Cool. You'll look Oval for a cord, real easy in the back. Oh. And be like a wall lamp. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can go to the bottom of it. All right. So weird. It could be. It's really hard. Like, thick and hard. That's how we like do it. No, I'm kidding. Thank you, Maury. This is a pottery with a cup with a spout. A little itty bitty spout. Tip me over and pour me out. It's $8 start. I know you guys always want to see the bottom. There is the bottom. That's my sticker on the bottom. And it's very, like, handmade. <laughs> I like it. Thing. And then this is all like super textured. You know that um art pottery console bowl with the underplate I've been trying to sell forever? I don't know. It, anyway, nobody bought it and then I come to find out it's worth like well over a hundred dollars and it's a pottery company out of Arkansas. I was like, thank you guys for not buying my stuff. I oh, love that happens. I know. <laughs> Welcome back, Elizabeth. Anybody into my? Could you could make it a coffee cup, but it's really cool. It's really pretty. Make some pancakes with that. <laughs> uh, it's not big enough, I guess. Um, you can see all the markings on the inside. It is really neat. Well, okay. If nobody wants it, we will pace. Do I get to show two more because I was gone or no? I'm fine no. with it if Cha Cha's okay. No. Cha Cha's turn. <laughs> no, you're fine. It'll be really quick. They're just uh -huh. two little things. Sure. It is. This is a duck. It is $8. And it's a cute little painted duck. Aww. Quack, quack. I am a duck. <laughs> you're violating him. He's got a hole in the bottom of him. It's fine. He consents. And there's the bottom of it. And this also looks like Mexican folk art. It's pretty. 
it's very nicely like painted and glazed and stuff. Yeah. Hey, Aaron. Long time no see ya. Hey, Aaron. Maury's in an eight. Joey is at a nine. For my duck? I'm going to assume it's for my duck. Right. He's so cute. I don't pick up a lot of stuff like this, but something possessed me to get yeah, him to. So. I'm glad it did. Lori 16. Oh, my foot. Okay. I'm up. I got to put this over here. This will be fun to wrap, too. I love fun to wrap items. Joanne is out. The only other big pottery thing I got is this. Oh, my God. I love it. Yeah, and it has holes in the bottom to, like, drain. Is that Moroccan? No. I have no idea. How am I supposed to know that? Well, it looks like a mandala almost in the bottom. I don't know. No. Look, it's in a book. It's reading. It's like, it's really big, anyways. <laughs> Joanne's out. Maury's at 16. Sorry, my computer went to buffering, but I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back, Connor. That's my. <laughs> I don't understand. You said they don't understand. M Miranda? Yeah. Because you're too young. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> thing. Okay. All right. Last thing, very quickly, very quickly. It says Spencer Sparrow, a special, a special. And then it had like a sticker, but the sticker's gone. And that's this little guy. Oh. He is a five dollar start. So cute. My cute little chicken. Chicken bird. My bird the chicken. Lana, you'll have to wait to her next turn to, to bid on that pot. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show up my next one. I think that's oh that's not that's not the last biggest thing I have. I also have this thing that's made in that was made in Peru. I'm from Peru, Stupido. I want that too. I got all the nice stuff. And then after that, oh, there's a couple more things. Anyways, oh. this is a little little bird. Well, bird. That, thanks to the, the uninvite Dean Oliver being all private at his coin sale. Dean, you're missing all the owl stuff. I got two really cute owl things right oh, now. Oh, you missed... Um, Josh got an owl too. And he missed the owl that Miranda bought from me. Alright, well this little bird's five bucks if anybody wants him. He's very cute. Thank you. Dean, I want to see what you look like big. There you are. Hey Dean, good to see your face. <gasps> Hi, I'm a Jonathan. Jonathan. Hi Jonathan. Hey. I miss you so much. Why you why you don't come by no more? Yeah, Jonathan. <laughs> he needs kisses. You wanna hug? Oh God. If y'all think I interrupt Miranda a lot, I do. I do it on purpose. I interrupt her too, it's fine. It's all love. Yeah, but I do it on purpose. Well, I don't interrupt. Well, I interrupt you on purpose sometimes. Like, if I'm talking and I don't want to stop talking, then I just keep talking. <laughs> Wait, are we I try to, like, I try to not interrupt you, like, especially when you're showing. I try to, like, uh, figure out when you're going to stop talking so I can, like, pop my thought in there. Pretty sure I have ADHD because if I don't speak directly when I have, like, a thought, it just disappears and I never remember it. And it fucking sucks. So, so what did, who, what did you just sell? Who just bought what? Or what are you selling right now? Maury bought this duck, and then I had that little bird for five bucks, but nobody wants it, so I'm done. Was that four you did? Yeah. Okay. Is it Cha Cha's turn? Or mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have this starting at 12. It's made in Italy. Uh, I don't know. It says Molt. I can't say the word. Mol um. Majolica? Yes, thank you. Majolica. 
Wow. Usually it's never labeled Majolica. Yeah, I think that's just the... Oh, it's a little tiered. It's about um, going across. It's seven and a half inches, and then it's about four inches tall. Well, well did Teresa fall out? And I never noticed. Teresa, um, oh, there she is. I'm so sorry, Teresa. I am Teresa. Welcome Crazy back. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. I'm What's trying. That? I'm trying, Tasha. I'm sorry. I'm trying. <laughs> My mouse is like acting the fool. My keyboard quit working. Out. <laughs> so those are great for bachelors' kitchens because, like, men don't like to lift things up and clean underneath them. So you put your soap and your like scouring pads and stuff like that raised up off the counter. And so when you go to wipe your counter, you just wipe around that one thing. <laughs> so those really do come in handy. I personally have one myself, so it does work for women who don't like to lift things up and clean it underneath them as well. And it would be a good riser for a plant as well. Mm hmm Oh, I love these. I call them, yeah, I call them little cake plates. Cake stand. Yeah. That's a heck of a deal. Beautiful Italian piece. Let's see. I like a slice of a big a piece of pie. Amore. <laughs> Next I have. What are they called? What is it called? Set of nine mint green. It's P R O L O N. Oh, Start. Ten. And then I have a set of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of these custard plates. There are 12 of them. They're like a mint green. Um, Me too, Elizabeth. It's hard to see that. Yeah, you can't make out the color, but I bet they're freaking amazing, mint green. Yeah, it's like a, yeah, it's mint green. Let's see. I don't know if that helps at all. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, it's, let's see, it's um, they are. about two inches high and about three and a half, three and three fourths inches wide, the widest part. Good for the ice cream and, and the snowballs. <laughs> oh, it says something. Banana pudding, yeah. Mm. I want some banana pudding. You know, I've been contacting Rita's Italian Ice every day asking if they have banana ice, Italian ice, and they haven't yet. Yeah, you can't break it either. 
Well, I'm not going to demonstrate that. It's prolon wear. You know, I would have like one of those stretched across an item and I would step on it and it would break. And that would be how I would break it. <laughs> Good to put your ketchup and mustard and stuff in. Ooh, M&M's and cashews. Bro, we need some. I do have, or jelly beans. All right, that's my two. All righty, thank you, Chachi. Chach thank thank you. you. Jenny loves Chachi, guys. Okay, mm. this next thing, I picked it up thinking it was a swanky swig, and then I was, like, holding it up, and to me, it doesn't have that ripple effect in the glass like the old glass has, so it may just be, like, I don't know. But I think it would be a cute little candle holder. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Window art. Okay, so let me, there's a lot going on in this. And this is going to start out at $5. There's a, a hummingbird drinking from some um, dragon snack flowers. There's a mushrooms. There is um, a butterfly. The flowers. So everybody loves mushrooms. Everybody loves mushrooms. Everybody loves hummingbirds. Everybody loves flowers and everybody loves butterflies. So look, it's just all going on there in one spot. I'm probably moving it a lot because I'm really good at doing that to people. I don't want to bring that though. Hi, not to be loved. Nobody interested in that. That's okay. That's okay. We'll just set that on the side. Um, Maury, are you here? Because I don't want to show the India stuff if you're not here because they're not for the <laughs> I want everybody to have equal opportunities. Mm, it, uh, and then I don't want people to throw some points. More right. Okay, next up, I'm gonna do this item. It is a giant, giant no glass candlestick holder. Oh, Mark, I'm dog, and I already moved to the next item. Lord, here I forget the lag. This isn't the thing I wanted to show you, but it's still pretty. It is a um, Jesus on the cross melt glass candlestick holder. And this is like a honker. And it's hollow on the inside, but it's still, still big. And, like you can see my fist here. So, wow. it, yeah. And it's really pretty. I've never seen anything like it. Um, maybe you guys have. You could let us know in the chat. Oh, and I'm gonna start this bad boy off at eight dollars, which I think is a heck of a deal. Can't go wrong. I don't know, Caroline. I don't remember much about it. I've never seen it. I mean, I don't know much about it. It's like they squeezed it right here. That's it. I don't know. It's just different. I don't even see a seam on it, to be honest. You'd think they would have, like, put it into a mold because of the Jesus. Look inside of it. 
inside. Is the seam inside? No. We have Jane at nine. Hi, Jane. Long time no see ya. Carolyn's at 10. Holy shit. Uh, excuse you? Um, Sorry. Jesus is would... here. Don't be cursing on my stream when I have Jesus on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> I was just um, looking up this this vase that I found, and I shouldn't have because it's like expensive. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, just uh, let us know when you're out, ladies. It's just such a pretty. I don't know how they made Jesus like that. Oh, there is a seam. Ha! Huh? There's a seam. Okay. It's on the, they ran the seam down the sides, so it's like you can't even know. Jane isn't at 11. Hey, big. Hey, big. Yes, make sure you subscribe to Teresa. I will drop her um link in the chat again. Carolyn's at twelve. I was so um Jean is out. Okay. So we are sold. That was line two, right? Yeah. So we are sold to Caroline for twelve dollars. And I thank you very much, ladies, for your bid. And then that was my two, I believe. Yes. I don't remember what else I showed, but I know it was two. Miranda. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, is it going to load? Oh, let me. Up here. Miranda. The I know I am. I'm trying to get this to load. So I have this is a Vil Neos Deep Low Stud Jug uh, made in Lithuania hand blown glass face. It's a little white stubber. And it has a um, cut off bottom. Ooh, no, that's some high quality glass. Is that the thing you just looked up? Yeah. Um, we'll just do a thirty dollars start. Cause they range from sixty five to a thousand, and I don't know what the that means. So thirty bucks. I was trying to look up, and that, that's like listed. I'm trying to look up the oh. like old, yeah. but it's not coming up. It's irritating me. Oh, that's a little cat. It's a six and a half inch glass cat for $75. Oh, I would like to make an announcement while Miranda's getting that six Sorry. Okay, Brando, Brando, Brandon, the Lego man of the Midwest was on Dr. Lori the other night. Mm -hmm. And I just want to make sure that everybody goes and checks it, checks it out and y'all bring it up to him a lot. So he gets shy. It's a polished bottom. Yeah, it is. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Is that Polish glass? What kind of uh, glass? Made in Lithuania. Ooh. I'll type in the name for you guys. It's B I L M I A U S S T I K L O. I shit you not, I heard you say B5 Fo Fum for the first time. <laughs> 
And then, I know he is a good boy. That's that's the name, and then this it's this one's made in Lithuania. Yes, stick close to Jeff. Yeah, I mean, anytime you find glass from countries like that, there's some good stuff. Oh wow! Yeah, I just looked up the name, and he has some beautiful stuff. How's it going, man? I need. Yes, Ian. Hey, Ian. Hey, Jane. Uh, <laughs> Dean, I have lots of owls. Please sub and hopefully you can catch some. It's Lithuanian, Joanne. Julie's in for 30. Out of nowhere. Welcome, Julie. How you hey, doing? Julie. And it's just kind of like, it's not as tall as like the other ones I have. I've got a couple other that are they're quite tall. This one's more of like um like a little stubby, like a chunk. It's like a little oh, chunk. Oh, oh, God, where's my coffee? European Caroline Gramble. I'm sure your brother does like it. It's really cool. I bet it. I'm sure he does. I think uh, he knows a lot about glass and stuff. Oh, I have some glass vases. Is your brother in your house right now? Because I have something <laughs> <like Boston. laughs> Is your brother... Is your brother in your house right now? A brother-in-law, probably not. <laughs> uh, Brandon, uh, Le Lego man. Yeah. What's the, um, of the Midwest? What's the height of it? What? What's the height? Oh, you make me guess that right now. Hang on. I thought you knew. Sorry. Like six and a half inches, probably. Hang on. Oh, man. That's my, my rough estimate. I don't have my measuring tape over here. Jonathan, he's an 18 year old boy and he's in high school. He's, yeah, he's going to graduate. His graduation party is coming up, but I, I have it on my calendar. Are you but, going as a 25 year old? Are you going to a high school graduation party? I'm 25, and yeah, he lives like an hour away. Why wouldn't I go? Oh my God. He's the first person I made. Seven um, inches. Okay. It is a seven inch face, so it is seven inches tall. <laughs> I made him jump onto a lodge. He's in Ohio. <laughs> I know, Gritty. How you doing, girl? All okay. right, sell it. Give it to Julie. Bye. So, to Julie McIntyre's brother in law in Ohio while she's in Arizona. <laughs> but whenever she has questions about like um, glass stuff, especially home hand blown glass, she usually talks to him about it. <laughs> oh, Julie, I still have that big like art glass piece that yellow art glass piece um it's still 60 bucks but i still do have it and it does match the other thing that you got from me so we need to facetime julie's brother-in-law <laughs> get him to price all her glasses come hang out with us oh okay. this is the big pot it does have something written on the bottom of it i can't exactly make it out to me it looks like um authentic molo like m o l o which is a dish uh, and then it has like a little copyright thing so i don't know it's a big pot it is 25 dollars starch and this does as you can see stick out like off of it this is the inside of the pot Let's see. To <laughs> my granddaughter. And then here, um I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna try to show you.
So it does have stuff written on the bottom of it. I just don't understand what it is. Well, Dr. Lori would tell you that's why you need to order her loop. No, I'm just kidding. I have, I have two loops. I don't need her loop. I have one too, and it's not from Dr. Lori. Hers is ridiculously outpriced. You can get like the same thing on like eBay or Amazon for like four dollars. How much is she charging? More than four dollars. Yeah, Watch but out. I don't like those. The one she's she's suggesting. I like the one I get. I have two different kinds. I'll show them to you. And one of the ones that I have looks like hers. I just don't know how to this. I saw her. I say, watch out for my medallions, my diamonds are reckless. <laughs> and then I don't say word because. I don't know. So, this is one that I have. And it has like a little itty bitty and then like a bigger one. And you paid what for that? A couple of dollars. <laughs> I'm a cheapo. Oh. Let's see. And then this one did have like a thing over it, but I broke it off. And it has uh, just this one ring, but it has three different lights. So it has like a, a lower light, a brighter light, and then it also has like a blue light or a black light. So yeah. I have two loops. <laughs> hey, Jonathan. Precious is set at 40. What? Precious is oh. at 40. Oh my damn. She that's a huge jump, girl. I'm sure it's not a typo. I mean I gladly accept it, but that's a lot. We went from 25, 27 to 40. <laughs> it's really pretty. If you ever find out what that is, Joanne, let me know. Tell us. Wait, Precious is lagging. She's confused what's showing. You are... Let me type it in. She's not going to see it. Oh, she's live in the chat. She's behind in the stream. I think it's worth it. I think it's birdie. But... Joanne, you can retract your she bid. Might been, she might have been bidding on the vase. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Just let us know you're not in a legal bonding contract. Mickey says, gorgeous pot. It is. It's really big, too. I'd love to get 40 bucks for it. Are you kidding? I just want to make sure that that's what, like... You know, you know what's up. She says yes if there's no issues. I don't blame her. It's very pretty. Um, no, it's just a little dirty on the rim up here, and then on like the bottom enamel, there's like a little bit of wear. Is that, that good? Is that good? Last you saw was a glass vase. Okay, Joanne, we are at. Jane was at twenty seven. Mm -hmm. Last, and then you came in at forty. So, just making sure you're that you meant to do it. Because Ryan is nice like that. <laughs> you're in a binding contract. You must buy this pot for forty dollars. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna catch it. Don't worry. I keep forgetting to ask Terry if she wants me to just send her pants or hold them. Thirty dollars for pot, she says. Jane, okay. <laughs> are you coming in at thirty-one or are you out? Or thirty-two or however we're playing? I don't. <laughs> Yeah, and, and for reference, if anybody doesn't know, I'm perfectly okay with dollar bids. I just kind of I, I let you guys do your thing as long as it's not less than a dollar. We're fine, unless I'm having a 50 cent sale. Which doesn't happen as much as it used to. I used to have a lot of 50 cent jewelry sales, and then I let you do quarter bids. But for everything else, it's at least a dollar. 
Which I know is different because some people like they want to go like as fast as possible, and so they do two dollars and then five dollars and like ten dollars. I think most most of them are doing that after you hit a certain amount. Like once you get up to like I don't think like thirty or fifty, they start doing five dollar increments. Yeah, they want to, they like they want to make it go faster, but in my brain, I'm always like, well, I'll put in a dollar more, but that doesn't mean I'll put in five dollars more. You know what I mean? So. Good night, Faye. I love you. All right. So Joanne came in at thirty. Jane is out. Dean, I don't know if you're interested in the pot, but if you are, we have Joanne in at thirty for the pot. The lagging queen. <laughs> oh. So where is it? Oh, it's right here. I just put it down. I've been holding it this whole time, man. My, my arm hurts. Just go back, damn. Yeah, land is out. Dean's confusing me. We ow hurt. Um, a black guy. All right, listen, executive decision. We're sold to Joanne. Next. Is it Cha Cha? Guys. Cha Cha's turn now, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Wait, Jonathan, I have something for you coming up. It looks like man stuff. <laughs> And drinky stuff. That hurt my face. So I have this vintage um, pottery, Pyrex. It comes with the lid and the cradle. And this is starting at 25. It's the turquoise blue with meadow, which is a promotional plan, promotional set. It's dish number 0483. It has the lid. It's white with turquoise. Turquoise? Everybody loves turquoise. Everybody in the club get tipsy. Everybody in the club get tipsy. Good night, Mickey. Good night, Mickey. Please feel better. Keep us up to date. Charlotte says that's really nice. Y'all, Charlotte is like the class clown. So if ever she's saying something, she is joking. So like, I don't know if y'all know Charlotte like that. She is hilarious. Uh, so she doesn't think it's really nice? Uh -huh. No, she does think it's really nice. <laughs> oh, you said she's usually joking when she says stuff. <laughs> Just in case I'm ever not here to be like, that was a joke. I'm letting you know now. She's a little <laughs> is in at 25. Well, she she said, that's really nice. And then you said, oh, don't worry. Whenever she says stuff, she's joking. And I'm like, so it's not nice. <laughs> you know, things come out of my mouth wrong. Y'all make fun of how I talk. What I say? No. Oh, my God. Look, look, look. Of course she thinks it's really nice. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> uh, stop. What? So uh, what is she talking about? Do the thing again with my tongue? What I do. I do a lot of weird things with my tongue. I guess. Oh, God. You're, not, <laughs> you're not old and you're not a dumb ass, Jonathan Raceberry. <laughs> Is it when I like stuck my tongue out and wait? <laughs> I did that. <laughs> do we do we have anyone at twenty seven? <laughs> Michelle's like what thing? <laughs> TMI Miranda says three <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I mean like I can fold my tongue like into like like so the hot dog bun or whatever. <laughs> Is anyone else interested in this? Or we're we gonna sell it to Lana. <laughs> no, you got Teresa's kind of modern for us. She's asking if there's any more interest in stuff. 
She's got you. Don't worry. I know. Are you getting tired? No, I'm just talking oh. to the chat. <laughs> I am. Oh, we've murdered Charlotte. Don't call 911. <laughs> <laughs> Run. No, don't. Okay, on my next turn, I'll show you what I mean. Because now I look like a weirdo. Good lord. You make a clover with your tongue. What? You know, you, do you make a clover with your tongue? <laughs> I was trying to find my straw. <laughs> I probably used to go Lana. Thank you, Lana. My straw moves around in like a circle, and so I have to go like. <laughs> I have to stick my tongue out. Trying to put that in there. I put her on mute. I could see her laughing really hard. <laughs> you are so rude. I'll be quiet. I'm shushing. Shh. And then <laughs> I'm going to show this grape cluster on wood, and I'm going to start it at $20. <laughs> Oh, here is a great cluster on a piece of wood, and I'll start this out at twenty dollars. Are those glass balls? Blue side, I think. Are the yeah. grapes? Are they plastic or like glass? They're like lucid, lucid. Right. They have these fancy grapes people be freaking out all over the interwebs about. They're like, oh my god. Are they hard? Yeah. But very collectible. Are they breakable? Uh yeah, I can break. They're they're like a plastic. They're vintage plastics from the 70s. Yeah. 1970s. Yep, we all had them. <laughs> Weird. Are the squishy grapes something people are looking for? <laughs> I don't know. I find the squishy grapes a lot. No, I'm That's still so neat. Hey, hey Nate. Nate. You came. Nate, Teresa's here. Teresa, say something. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she talked in chat. She's here. Then, um, oh. Under here is where it's put together. What's a click check? What's a click check? Too much coffee, Joanne. Yeah, the, the lights would look nice around it. You're such a dick. <laughs> Not you, Tasha. I'll listen. I keep muting her because you're trying to talk and she keeps. Just mute her. <laughs> She's talking. There's like a weird long silence and I feel weird when it's silent. Stop! I was just beating my pants. <laughs> Well, there's my two. What was your first one? Pyrex. Oh, no. The wood was the second. And I'm done for tonight. Oh, Joanne's missing everything. You can't be done. You can't. That, that can't be all you have. Look at the shelf behind you. I showed all of it. Show it again. Okay. You know, the next, the next time you can show all your passes. Well, let's see. Everybody, let oh, let's say hi to, let's say bye to Cha Cha. She this is a good night, Cha Cha. Thank you for coming. Good night, guys, and nice to talk to you, Teresa. And I can't wait for your first sale. And let me know when we're doing that daytime sale. Yes, this week. Let's do it this week. I have those vintage scarves I, I want to sell too. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hey, are you going to stay up with me tonight? Me? Good night. Yeah. I don't know. 
I don't know. <laughs> I'll see how I am. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I know when she got up today, she went back to sleep. So maybe she'll be up with us. Be up tonight. I mean, okay. I do too. I've literally had no sleep, though. <laughs> so usually, brandy snifters are shaped like this, right? Well, they're usually larger, and this one's smaller. So I'm like, is this port? Because it's a dessert wine. Is this port glasses? I don't know. But they look very manly because they have this ship etched into them. Because women, I guess, can like ships, too. And so there's a big boat. It's a big boat. I forget what you call them when they have big four, the big ones. I forget. Anyway, it's a set of eight. You get eight of these bad boys, this vintage barware here. And they've got the wavy, wavy glass. Like they're the old timey glass. And they're etched. You can feel like the texture and the lines and stuff on there. And these set. That does look like a port glass. I thought so, too. I thought it was for port. Um, so you get a set of eight, and I'm going to start these bad boys off at $16. Dual hairs. <clears throat> you don't like doll hairs? So this is my manly item, by the way. Jonathan Roseberry. <laughs> All I got for you tonight. <laughs> it's like manly and a drinky things. I see if I can't put something behind it. Oh goodness. Oh, my dude makes it look bad. Hey, yes, me. I need this. Okay. Lana Banna be Bible Banna. Isn't it 16? All right, Lana. Carolyn said, wow. I'm pretty sure these are crystal too, Lana, just because like, I feel like I could make the crystal-y musicals on the top, but I haven't tried. <laughs> just think it a little. Yeah. It has I'm, that hugging. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's crystal. It's not very bubbly. There's no, I don't see bubbles in them. They're pretty clear. But then they do have that wave in them, like the old timey glass. So I don't know. Set of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's two. It's for the she shed instead of the man cave. It's like a big one we have. Hard to find eight at once. Oh, I know it, girl. Okay, if there's no what, other difference. What would Venus say? Is that what WWBS is? What would Venus say? <laughs> what would... I don't know. <laughs> Banana. Banana. You could probably turn the sweet profit on these girlfriend. Go ahead, score. Nice deal. Thank you. Jonathan didn't even comment. You didn't you don't have to buy it, Jonathan. You could have just said, hey, that's this kind of boat. Or those are cool. What would Vinny say? Vinny. Oh, Vinny would say something. Um, some kind of sexual innuendo. Okay, I'm gonna Show my next thing that I think Maury might like if Maury's here. And if not, I'm so sorry, Maury. But I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it. This is a two piece. It is very Scandinavian, I think, looking, but it is made in India. And it's got that like natural wood going on, and it's a little soap. And it's a natural wood little box, and they have little stripes in them, and they're made in India, and they've got the little feet. Hey, Maury! And I'm going to start this cute little set from India 
for fourteen dollars. Oh, gotta get those doll hairs. Doll hairs. And I've got their NDS stickers and their little foot legs. And what the? What is a clacker? What's a clacker? A chicken that can't cluck right, so it it clacks. <laughs> Oh, I said it's a big one. Maury's in at 20. Power bid. Thank you, Maury. Anybody want to come in at 21? Oh, is that a little bathroom thing? Yeah, it's and it's very like it's got that like Scandinavian look to it. But that's it's nice. Yeah, yeah. And that's oh. what the, the thing is. The, you mean those those things where you take it in your hand and it goes those things? Oh, it's okay, Teresa. They go like that. <laughs> All right. Um, if there's no other interest, we can sell it to Mari. It's really pretty. Yeah, I agree. It's going to look very nice in your bathroom. Very nice. Okay, Miranda. And then that's uh, another thing coming up, Maurice, real soon. You might like, I don't know. There you go, Miranda. Maury, why do you say my name like that? What did I do, eh? I don't understand. What did I do that was so bad? Oh, your storage unit boxes are going out soon. I'm actually working on that. Well, I'm trying to work on it, but I keep getting distracted. Uh, this is a $10 star. It is a metal metal standing rack. It kind of looks like a mini coat rack. Um, and I think it's for like your jewelry. Thank you, Maury. I don't know what kind of metal it's made of. Um, and if anyone is like really into brass or looking for brass, I have a huge brass tray. He's not cheap, but he's not expensive. But I do have that. I keep forgetting about him. So this is how tall it is on me. It's a nice size. And that was. Try to clap it together. If you lose, you can lose it too. Oh my goodness. Hey, honey. Honey. Oh, Do we have any clackers? <laughs> clackers. Crackers? No, clackers. Bye. <laughs> Cla clackers. I had those when I was a kid, but they were plastic. Oh, they were going to break my tooth. Oh, oh I'm stuck in my head. Listen. Clacker, the things that you have to like, the balls you gotta smack together. And if you miss, you could like take your eye out or knock the tooth out. No, we don't have Denise, it sold to you. Why not? We own something like that. I don't know why would they? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> he kept saying crackers. Oh, so my tongue is weird. I can go. <laughs> Andy said it do this to get oh, thanks for ten dollars. This is a fifteen dollar start. It's like a sand castle that was made in Peru. It would look really cute in your fairy garden or something like that. Fish tank. It does not go in a fish tank. You fish will poison you will poison and kill your fish. Don't put it in a fish tank. No. Next to death. <laughs> well he said crackers? <laughs> Clackers. Crackers, yes. <laughs> Well, you're saying it with a heavy accent. I assume that it was crackers. I'm sorry, you don't understand my accent? Rude. Crackers! <laughs> crackers, <laughs> got it, That's what you were doing. Okay? No, it's not! No one understands no, You sound like you're drowning in phlegm and you can't understand anything. I said clackers and you were like, clackers. Yeah. No, 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 no. You didn't say clackers. You were like, clackers. Clackers. I thought you were trying to speak to me in German. 
Isso é bem uma poesia que é azul. É folk art. Não chama de dang sandcastle. Porque isso parece um sandcastle. Folk art do Peru. Folk art do Peru que parece um sandcastle. Meus cheeks estão... Por que você está me olhando? Eu só... <laughs> okay, nobody wants my 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 Peru castle. That's funny. <laughs> Lucy, go. <laughs> okay. Hi guys. Okay, I'm gonna go back to you with another. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it out and see. Oh, if anybody will do it interested in this one is this the um How did you piece of Fenton. andy be quiet and i think it's got little pears in there or cherries i think i guess it is cherries and it's double handled and it's ribbed around the edge and it's got like a basket weave type of deal going on in it this one's going to be a $60 stock because as I pedestal this, it's a little fancier than the, the ruffled edge bowl. And let me get my, and it glows like a mofo. So it's very green. It's custard glass. It's labeled Fenton. Good. Hey, that accent was really good. You should keep trying. You do good. And it's got cherries. Shares on the inside, but you can't see when it glows. The castle went away. She told me to go. I'm sorry. Joanne. Nobody bought the castle, no. Okay. Pass. I'm glad I bought all this expensive glass. Okay, um, Maury, the other thing I wanted to show you is like it looks Moroccan to me, kind of, and it also looks Indian to me. It's very pretty, um, and it's like a crackle glass. It's a candle votive, and you can take out the bottom like that. I'm guessing that's to put like if you wanted a fake candle in there. You can put it in there, and then it just turns and it stays, or you could just drop it in the top. Anyway, it's like a five dollar start if anybody if if you're into that, Maury or anybody. Crackle glass. It's like a, um, almost like a gold. It's got kind of like a tint to the glass, like a champagne tint or something. And there's a little metal surrounds. More is in for ten. Oh, it's a candle votive. No problem. You just that's the bottom. If you want to insert um, a candle in the center, I guess, and your fingers don't fit down there. Or you can just drop it in the top. It smells hey, sorry. Like they had in it. Andy I had questions about um exercise bike. No, what it's not a fairy glass. <laughs> it, do it doesn't have like a lid to it or like a shade on it. But yeah, I mean it's like a fairy glass. It's just a candle votive. Fairy lamp, I mean. Fairy glass. Yeah, that works. Fairy glass, not fairy lamp. What is a nappy dish? For um, diapers. No? no it's not. <laughs> I don't know. But this is not a nappy dish. A nappy dish is a, a flat little dish with that single handle on it. Usually they um 
Well, I said, I serve lemons on it nowadays, but I guess they used to put like moist napkins on there. Like we do that in New Orleans, give people moist like lint napkins, lint. Linen napkins so they can wipe their fingers when they're peeling boiled seafood and stuff like that. All right. Oh, it's for carrying lemons and stuff. Um, junk to be not to be loved. This one was 60 and this one's 50. And they they're both glowy Fenton glass and they're embossed Fenton on there. And then I sold the other one, I think. Yeah. So, okay, Miranda, back to you. I want a nappy dish to carry lemons around in. Sounds fun. Oops. Thank you, Maury. Whoop, whoop. Hi. I'm really tired. So, this is a tray that's made out of pottery. It is a pottery tray, it has like these raised handles. It's a square shape. It's a $20 start. It is not for food use. May poison your food. Here's the bottom. It's a nice size. You guys want to see the TikTok toe game I found? It's really cool. While you think about this pottery tray that would go like on your coffee table or whatever, where you would put um, your remote, a little candle, shake it up. While you think about that, I'm going to snatch up this tic tac toe game. It's really cool. Hang on, I got to stab it a couple times. Is it heavy? I mean, it's not light. Uh, <laughs> it has some heft and some weight to it. It's a couple pounds at least. <laughs> like it's like I can pick it up with one arm, but it's not like super easy. Don't like to, Joanne. We just <laughs> we like to give the people what they want. Oh, yeah, somebody wanted your sandcastle, your Peruvian folk all. That you have Who wanted it. my sand castle? Who was it? Lana Banana. Lana Banana be Bobo Banana, Lana Fana. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. You want my Peruvian art? It was 15 bucks. Just let me know. <gasps> oh, this what? is so cute. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be back. Okay, this is a nautical tic-tac-toe board. It's a $12 start. It comes like this, and it says Liberty, and it's like a little circle, and this is your tic-tac-toe board. And then here are your tic-tac-toe pieces. Baby girl, your tic-tac-toe pieces are freaking sailboat ships and lighthouses tell me that is not the cutest damn thing you've ever seen in your life cool, huh? oh hang on Joanne here he is here's the castle it's quite large so Lane is in at 15 for the castle dropping trash so joanne if you do want to come in we're looking for 16. there's the bottom of that and then the tic tac stay the tic tac toe game is 12 dollars start one two joanne's at 19 for the castle so it's a super cute nautical freaking tic-tac-toe game like how amazing is this thing i love it so much good night jules we got jane in at 12 for the tic-tac-toe it's really thick as well 
Um, and it was just made in China. Land is in at 20 for the castle. Does anybody else want to come in at tic-tac-toe? Otherwise, I can call it to Jane. Freaking tic-tac-toe is awesome. Awesome potatoes and beans, man. Joanne's in at 25 for the castle. Oh. Yeah, this thing does have some heft. But um, it would be good. Like you, it's good that it's kind of heavy because it's not gonna like get knocked off of like your couch or your table because of how heavy it is. Um, but if you have to move it around, it might become annoying, especially if there's stuff on it. So this guy was twenty bucks. If anyone wants him, just let me know. I'm gonna try to gently put him on the floor with the Yeah. Lynn is it a 26 for the castle, and Jane got the tic-tac-toe game for 12. Thank you, girlfriend. It's really freaking cool. Tic-tac-toe game. More between lagging queens. Hey, Pat! All right, Joanne, Lana came in at 26. Let me know what you want to come in for the Peru Castle. Peru Castle. Joanne's in at 30, the big 3 0. And if you're talking about this, I stick my tongue out a little. Uh, I play it under the saw. No, Miranda's lagging. <laughs> Lana's out. All right. Thank you, Miss Joanne. This is going to be so annoying to wrap, but it's fine. Are you back? Yeah. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool beans. Thank you, guys. How much longer do you want to go, by the way? Not very much longer at all. All right. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ish. Nine ish new things to show, but I don't have to show all of that tonight. Okay. Thank you, guys. So we can be done whenever you want to be. Um, I have a set of six, um, uh, metal glass, oh, hey, Miranda. I got a set of six metal glass, I got the, like, I, it looks like grapes and leaves pattern on them, there's the grapes, grapes and vine, and they don't have any markings on the bottom, so I can't quite tell who makes it, um, but they are real pretty, they don't have any, any damage to them? Any bit of, out of six. I don't know if you have like milk glass saucers you'd want to use these for. And did I say how much they were? I don't think so. I'm gonna start these at twelve dollars. I want to start. It's gonna be twelve dollars. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Caroline. Oh, no, Caroline. Thir Thirteen. Me too. Okay. Oh, that's a cute little dish. Oh, the umbrella. Okay. okay. So, um, 
Looks like we're going to pass on that. And I had a three piecer to go with this. Ah, okay. So this is um, two made in Japan pieces and a made in China piece. Um, this is a trinket box. I guess I'll, it's a set of three. So this is a made in China piece. And it's got two little gooseys on it. And they've got those applied flowers. And there's no chips on any of these. And I'm going to start this out at 10. Hey, Kaja. And then it's going to come with the first stamp made in Japan. And you have um, one with a pink flower and one with a yellow flower. So Whoa. you can Whoa. set them like that. And you can stick little things inside. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's a cute little yeah, ladylike applied flower. Oh, I know. Look at their eyes, though. They're super cute. Those are those are really adorable. Yeah. And the box has some, um, like, designs in the ceramic. And the top has little, like, dots around it. Aww. Good night, Charlotte. Thank you for coming. All right. That is my two. Miranda, you ready? Um, yeah, I can be. I'm sorry. Oh, All right. This is a $5 start. It is a pack of silicone coasters. It is a four count. They are in the shape of daisies. They're heat resistant to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. They are hand washed and they are made in China. Oh, brand new four, four count silicone daisies. $5 start. Green cups. Okay, Carolyn. I mean, not Carolyn. Lana. All right, and there's no interest in that. I do have this heart-shaped trinket box. It is uh, hand-painted Japan. It is Odagiri and has a butterfly and some uh, blue flowers on it. This is a $20 start. It's got the gold trim around the edges, the beautiful painted flowers. And it is the Golden Butterfly Design Fraser Collection, Odagiri, Japan. Um, I don't know, Teresa, maybe. No cracks on the inside. That's just extra paint right here. Thought maybe I missed a chip. I did not. It's just paint. So yeah, it's a cute little butterfly box. Yep, Otagiri. It's O T A G I R I Japan. It's a really pretty nice little trinket box. Alrighty. Uh, 
That guy is so cute. I think my two are a pass, boo boo. All right. Um, this is an adorable little dish, and it's got a little cat that peers over the edge, and he's got a little fish skeleton in the middle, and it's got a weird, like, I don't know, like, bubbly looking glaze on it. Anyway, you could use this as a little trinket dish or um, soap dish or, you know, whatever your heart desires. You could probably feed your cat in there. And then it can have this little cat looking at him. And it's going to be an $8 start. Oh, my God. You know what I forgot? No. I forgot to freaking show that fish that I had. I had this beautiful, like, fish platter. It's, um, it's a lusterware fish. Like, platter. It's freaking oh. gorgeous. I can't believe I forgot to show that. I don't even know where it's at. <laughs> I'm gonna find it. It's so pretty. Okay, any special requests? I have everything. I have anything and everything. Okay, this one's pretty cool. Um, it's another cobalt blue vase. This one's got like a swirl pattern in the glass, it's got a ruffled top, and this one's gonna start out at $15. It's a really pretty piece. No chips or cracks. Ooh. It's like yay big. Or yay big. Probably about six inches. Get that. No, what? Look at my 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 witch's goblet pot. My witch's pot. Look at my witch's pot. I like when they, you gotta get your Fourth of July glass collection going. I have a cauldron, a ceramic cauldron. Cauldron, that's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell if it's what it's made of. Okay, Joanne, I got you for the cat dish. Ah! I'm going to fill it with stones and then sell it on Mercari. That'd be cool. Right. <laughs> I thought you'd be able to see. Oh my gosh. I've got stickers all. What am I doing? Oh, I remember. My brain lagged out for a minute. Oh, I'll just put the cauldron on all my little cartons. Are y'all seeing a blue vase on the screen now? <laughs> I like it. It's kind of almost like ombre, but I think the glass maybe just gets closer together and thicker at the bottom. And so it looks darker towards the bottom. I'll back for too big for a holiday. I already sold the. I don't know if it I, it was clear, but I'll keep an eye out, um, Joanne and Miranda. Hmm. Your turn. Oh. Yo, all my friends, my comrades. Yeah. 
right. I got four things to show. It's just going to be a choice by it now. And then this is going to be it for me tonight. This is a little ginger haired doll ornament. She's going to be number one, and she is $3. So number one is $3. Number two is $10. It is by Boston Warehouse, and it is a cat spoon rest. So number two is $10. And it had like something taped up here that's gone now, like a foam piece. So that's on there. Number three is six dollars. It is just a bowl made in Japan. Just a pretty bowl made in Japan. So number three is six. And then number four is five dollars. It is also made in Japan. I think it's an ashtray. It has one chip right here. It's a pretty smooth chip. It doesn't cut me or anything, but it is there. And it's like a little seashell. Aww. And then the top has like the lips where you would like put your um, your cigarettes and stuff. But it did have wax on it. So I think that I might, they might have used it for like a candle. And I also I think it would be really cool. If you have like a really big stone sphere, it would be a very, very cool sphere holder. <clears throat> and that's number four. Oh, God. Show. Good gravy. So that was number four. What, Teresa? Never mind. She answered. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Anybody Sorry. want to leave this? You're fine. Don't be sorry. I think it might be a uh, dark about that time. Come here, Bubba. Oh, and the seashell is um oh my god, luster wear. I don't think you can tell very well, but it is it is luster wear. Luster wear made in Japan. It just has that Nasty chip on it. All right, pumpkin spice latte, it's your turn. Okay. Um. Here I am. Okay. So, uh. What did I not show? Okay. I have these little dishes. I'm not sure who they're made by. And I'm not sure sure if they're the coin dot pattern because that's really what they look like to me but um it's kind of like a it's a clear glass with like a satin ruffled finish around the top and this is what they look like on the bottom they're super cute and these poke out quite a bit these little dots around the side Um, as going to be a $10 start. I'm glad you're having fun. Yeah, it's fun, Teresa. You're in the thing. You can still talk if you like. I know it's starting for dishes. I know you got to bring your puppers out. Oh, she already got it done. Maybe you can talk. <laughs> no. 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 And then my last item of the night. Um, I have so much stuff that I don't even know what to do anymore. Is, um, <laughs> um, this is a little clown, and I feel like he's lead because he's so dang heavy. I'm pretty sure he's probably lead. Um, 
This person dropped off like, I got you for the bowls, Lana. Thank you. And it is, it says George and maybe good after it. And it's got the little felt feet. It's on a wooden stand. And he's just super cute. They did have some giant butts, like wood carvings, too. And I just wanted to get them all. And this, this guy's going to be an $8 start. His hat's pink. It looks yellow on the screen. But his hat is pink. Or maybe it is yellow. Lord B. I can't see things anymore. And I'm going the wrong way. Yes, it is time to say goodnight. Starting bit of clown is H, you guys. Eight dollars, Joanne. But he's heavy, like he's heavier than pewter. I think he, I mean, I don't think they should make things out of leads nowadays, but like, he's heavy, like. Thank you, Joanne. I'm go ahead and sell it to Joanne if there's um, no other interest. And thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. And thank you all for participating and talking to us and stopping in. And woo. Okay. Teresa. Kitty, run. Thank you. What do you mean? Good night, y'all. Bye. And don't forget well, to go subscribe to Teresa's new channel. She's just getting started. I, oh, God. I lost the link. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. That's why it was on the thing. He couldn't even get it inside the house. So the one upstairs. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. See you maybe tomorrow. Yes. Okay, let me end this thing. And, 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 and. Good night, everyone.